Right, uh, boys and girls, I'm still in Baroda and I've uh, come down to one of the oldest step wells in the city. Um, I don't know if you can see how far I've actually come down, but I, I mean, it's a long way down. So, yeah, I thought I'd just make you a little clip uh, of what we're doing. So, we're going to walk down. This would, remember, in ancient times, this would be the main water source for, the, for this area of the city. And at the time, I prob it probably wasn't quite as big, but you can see it's a massive construction. I don't actually know how old this place is, but I can assure you, it's a lot older than me. So yeah, you can see we're still going down. Quite a, quite a feat of engineering, I would imagine, at the time. I certainly wouldn't want to be coming down here on a dark night, because I can see there's lots of rats droppings and things down here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, they, I'll tell you what they are. They look like watermelons that have just rotted away. And this would be actually the base of the well. And the water level would uh, increase as the rains came in the monsoon. I'll just see if we can get you a... And that's how far we are down. We've got to be at least 100 feet, I would think. At least 100 feet down. So that's the first visit of a trip to India to a step well. And there's little, little niches in the wall, every level. There's a little niche and people leave little, people leave little offerings in the little niches. Yeah, and all these are, all these are carved, look. They would have been quite nice in the day. Long way up, all the pillars are carved, which I guess over time we've eroded away. Right the way up. Right the way up there, look. Oh. Probably a couple of hundred feet actually. Making our way up now. And there's some more carving, look. Very nice, neat carving. Of course, this would have been a really focal point in the ancient times again people are leaving this would be quite a revered place actually because uh, when you think that they're relying on this probably as their only source of water again people are leaving it's uh, like a little shrine here actually on the way up Yeah, so people still come here, leave offerings in that pit. We can see it's still quite revered today, as you can see. Fortunately, I can't read Hindi. In fact, I can't read English very well either. But, yeah, it's still a revered place. And I'm glad that place was there to stop actually because there's a lot of steps to get up here. I do know that, I think that's Krishna. So, yeah, we're getting near the top now. And again, it's quite ornate carvings. These are weathered a bit more actually because they're, they're open to the elements. That one's completely weathered away, look. But, yeah. Some more nice carvings into the rock there, look. And all the pillars, as I say, they're all nicely carved. So this is a step well in Baroda.
it will definitely come down here and oh, yeah the temperature is about 42 43 now that's why I'm puffing a bit and this guy here is the guy who's going to take me back to my hotel waiting patiently while I come down here simply because he's probably earned his day's wages out of the tourist fee he's got from me but hey -ho, it cost me three quid to get here and about it was about five miles so I'm not complaining and again you can see where people are just leaving Oh, little offerings so that's my video for today boys and girls hope you're still enjoying the trip so thank you